everybody, my name is Bonner Isaac Berry from Berry Side Flap, and today we're go on Math for Children, we're going to be doing lesson 5.2, the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane was invented by French philosopher Rene Descartes in uh, 1638. So, what is the coordinate plane? Well, it's basically a way of saying where is something with respect to me, or where is something uh compare to me so basically it has something called the origin and then two lines spreading out in different directions i know this sounds kind of crazy but this is the basis of an entire part of geometry so let's just draw this this is the coordinate plane so this is what we call the x-axis. It's basically horizontal. And this is what we call the y-axis. It's vertical. And up and right are seen as the positive directions, basically. While on down and left are seen as negative directions. Uh, with the right-left thing, you can envision it kind of like a, a number line. In fact, this entire thing, you can kind of visualize like a number line. With this being the original number line, with its positive and negative sides, and then the y-axis just being a rotated version of that. Looking like this instead. So, what's happening here is, basically, this is also called the rectangular coordinate plane because it's a grid of many, many little squares. So, let me show you a little example. So, let's put numbers on this number line. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the coordinate plane basically has a little grid. So, this grid is where you can plot points. And if you have a point, say, let me put it somewhere random here, how would you express its position? Well, you would express its position by uh, saying where it is on the x-axis, in this case, it's at the number 4, and where it is on the y-axis, in this case, it's at the number 3. So, that means that the coordinates of this point would be 4, 3. Now, this is just one-fourth of the coordinate plane. There's also an entire other side where we have the negative numbers. Remember, the number line has a negative side too? Well, well, the same thing with the coordinate plane. And the y-axis has negative numbers as well. So, based on uh, uh, these four sections, we call these little sections quadrants. So I'm going to add a few highlighters. Oh, this is the max amount of things I could add. Let me just trash all of these dumb pens. Okay, so now let's make this, uh, for example, red. And let's make this, let's say, green. So this would be what we call the first quadrant. Where both the x coordinate and the y coordinate are positive. This is what we would call the second quadrant. Where x is negative, but y is still positive. This is what we would call the third quadrant. 
where both x and y are negative. And this is what we would call the fourth quadrant, where x is positive but y is negative. So those are the four quadrants of the coordinate plane, and that's how you could graph points on the coordinate plane. So that's basically it for the coordinate plane. That's how you can use a coordinate plane. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you two questions for my exit slip. So number one, let's say I draw a few points here. So let's say I draw, uh, I need something unique. Uh, this one will do. Okay, so let's say I put a point here, and then I put a point here. I put a point here, and I put a point here. So I'm going to ask you two questions about these points. So let's say, call this guy A, this little fella B, this dude, C, and this guy, D. So, well first, let me ask you, which of these points is in the third quadrant? Now, you probably already know that. And my second question to you is, which one of these is two units east and two units south of, <clears throat> of the origin? Remember, kids? Never eat soggy waffles. Okay, so you might have already been wondering the answer to my first question. If you didn't get it, you should probably re-watch the video. But the answer would be C. C is the one in the third quadrant. And for the second question, the one that is two units east and two units south. Well... That would be two units in the positive x direction and two units in the negative y direction if you saw this little guy at the end. 